Hi guys, I'm back. And I know I owe you guys a how am I doing it video. And I will be making that video. I'm just trying to figure out a way for it not to be boring or like 50 seconds long. So please bear with me. Um, I will be having that out soon. I'm just, like I said, just trying to figure it out. But today I'm going to be doing a weight loss tag. And this one was done by Kimberly. Oh, don't kill me for, for screwing up your last name. But it's Kimberly Urellis 1. And I'll have her link down below. And also Levea's mom uh, also did this. And I will have her link down below. And I watched their videos and I thought it was super cute. And I like this weight loss tag better than the weight loss tag that I was um, tagged way back like a month or so ago. So I'm kind of fulfilling that tag as well, but just with different questions. So it's 14 questions. So let's jump right in it. I'm going to look down and read, okay? Okay, for number one, when did you start to gain weight? Um, I started gaining weight when I was about 17 and I went on the Depo Pavera birth control and gained like 15 pounds in one month. It was awful. Awful. Needless to say, I only took that one shot. I would not take another one. Um, and after that, I just never lost the weight. Uh, gained that and then when I got pregnant I gained more weight and I was about 145 after I had my son and then I was I just met my husband well who's my husband now and just kept gaining weight kept gaining weight until here we are question number two what was your heaviest weight my heaviest weight was 213 and that was just this past uh, February when I had to have my surgery and the number shocked the hell out of me because I went in there and I was like oh I'm probably like 200 or 180 something like that and when I stepped on the scale and it said 213 I was like what oh no this is not happening so after I had my surgery recovered and everything uh, that's when I had made the final decision that I was going to go on this journey but I didn't start on the journey right away I just said okay I need to take take a journey <laughs> and I kept like it's procrastinating and it's okay after vacation so that's what I did after vacation we started talking to each other next um, what diets have you been on a um, couple years ago, I was on the 17-day diet, which was um, promoted by Dr. Phil. Love me some Dr. Phil. And he promoted this diet, and it was the only diet that I've ever been on. Um, and I was losing weight. I lost 10 pounds in 17 days. Pretty much two weeks. And... Um, then it was so funny because they say oh you know you eat right and you're gonna um feel all this energy and everything and so i'm eating right and i'm doing everything and then i'm like where the hell is the energy i'm not feeling the energy i'm feeling drained and it reminded me of when i was pregnant with my first daughter and so i said you know what let me take a pregnancy test and sure enough i was pregnant so I was like, oh well, no more diet. And I just <laughs> went crazy. I went and had me a big old hamburger and, <laughs> and that was all she wrote. That was the end of the diet. All right, next. Um, is your goal a number size or a goal on the scale? Um, neither, I would say. I'm just looking for when I'm comfortable, when I think, okay, 
this is a good weight for me. I look good. I'm happy at this size. So, I don't know. It could be a size 8, 10. It could be 160 on the scale, 150. I don't know. So, what is your favorite food? Uh, just about everything Italian. Mm -hmm. I love me some Italian food. Oh, too bad it's like so freaking unhealthy for me. I love me some fettuccine alfredo. Love me some lasagna. Chicken parm. You name it. I love it. What is your favorite now? Um, right now, I wouldn't say I have a favorite food right now. I'm just testing so many different flavors and things like that. Um, I guess maybe carrots. I've always gravitated towards baby carrots. Those are my, that's my go-to food is baby carrots. Um, what food will you not give up? <sighs> what food will I not give up? I'm not going to give anything up. I mean, the way that this is a lifestyle change, and if I want something, I'm just going to go and get it. I'm just not going to eat a whole bunch of it if it's not good for me. So it's all about portion control, but I'm not giving anything up. I'm still going to have my Olive Garden. I'm still going to have my burger. I'm still going to have, you know, whatever I want. I'm just going to have it portion controlled. Like yesterday, I had three little chocolate chip cookies, and they were delicious. Okay, um, how do you reward your accomplishments? I make a video and I'm, yay! <laughs> um, I don't, I mean, the weight loss is a, is a reward enough. I don't need something else to go and reward myself. I'm just, it makes me happy just losing the weight. So, I think... The major reward is going to be when I get to that place that I'm happy and and then I start maintaining. So, uh, what will you do at goal? Maintain. What else do you do at goal? I'm not. I mean, like I said, I don't like have any reward system for myself. The weight loss is the reward. What diet or plot are you following now? I don't have a a diet or anything that I'm following. Um, I guess I could let you guys know here in a couple seconds. What I do is pretty much it's kind of like calorie cycling, but instead of on a daily basis, it's more like a weekly basis. So according to my fitness pile, I should be... Um, eating about 1220 calories a week and what I do is um, two weeks I'll go at about it add it ends up it be an average of 11 1100 to 1200 calories a week and I'm not starving myself it's just healthy foods which have less calories um, and I've, I've started doing um, shakes and things like that to kind of up the calories to make sure that um, I do keep it above a thousand calories and some days I go over some days I go under it just all depends and then so I go two weeks to that then I go one week where my calories are down about like 900 950 and then the following week I go back up and what I found is my body likes to be tricked like that it it doesn't go into starvation mode. It doesn't go into um, anything like that. I don't feel hungry or weak or anything. I'm just eating right and I'm eating as much as I want. And on the higher calorie days, I can have my my meals that are, you know, not as healthy. So that's about it. And it seems to be working. So, and exercise. I, I try to exercise at least three to four times uh, during the week. So, 
Uh, favorite body part? My boobies. I love my boobies. But they're going down. Hopefully I'll love my boobies after I lose the weight. <laughs> what are your, are your non-scale goals? My non-scale goals. Um, my non-scale goal is to be able to run with my daughters without losing my breath or feeling like my heart is going to just jump out of my chest. Um, and that's just pretty much it. Just being able to have the endurance and the stamina to keep up with a two and a five year old. That's my non-scale goal. What makes losing weight hard for you? So far, losing weight hasn't been hard for me. Um, I've lost pretty steadily. This past week um, was has been my most difficult week on my journey. And I think, like I said um, in Monday's video, it had a lot to do with just hormones and just going through that time um and i'm already coming out of it i'm already i've you know started exercising again eating right and so i'll be fine i think it was just that pm message um would you ever consider weight loss surgery um no i don't feel that i was ever that big that i needed to think about having surgery it, it never occurred to me and um, I mean if, for, for whoever decides to go and do that that's you know that's their decision but I'm, I'm that's just not me so no all right so those are all the questions I hope you enjoyed my answers and I hope I wasn't too long-winded and I am going to tag coffee and cream baby she says i never tag her on any of my tags so you are tagged lady um i'm also going to tag she ain't giving up 160 um if she hasn't done it already i don't think she has because i haven't seen it and uh shrinking Susie because she just recently won my giveaway so i'm gonna tag you too so you three ladies have been tagged, and I look forward to seeing your videos. I will have all the questions down below. Check out Kimberly Urellis One channel and also Lavea's mom's channel. Great ladies, full of energy, just awesome. So I will see you guys next time. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you feel like you know this is fun and you thought and you you want to share your answers please feel free to do it let me know in the comments when you do so i can check your videos out all right bye bye bye